Hello, my name is Hilton Harpoon. This is the HRN Teleport HUD tutorial. Once you receive your HUD, you should search for it in your inventory, then right-click on the object and select Where. Save Locations. You should click on Save, and then just give that location a name. It will show up on one of the location buttons. You can also click on Save and save to a particular button. Or you can click on save and use the channel number 456 and then save to a location in private. This way it will not appear in chat and no one else can hear you save that location. The Give button. This is how it works. You should click on the Give button and then select a name from the blue menu. It's working on a 90 meter range, so all avatars in 90 meters will show up here. You can also choose to click on the Give All button and then after you've selected the person or all avatars in range, you should click on a location name and an SL URL will be sent to that avatar or to all avatars. The HRN Teleport HED system has a built-in affiliate system as well. You can click on the Sell HED button and as you can see a vendor will come out and once it's loaded and you've accepted payment permissions, you may sell the HR and Teleport HUD and earn 33% from each sale. You can either leave the box to self-destruct afterwards or you can just delete it. Deleting locations is very simple. You should click on the delete button and then select the location you want to delete. You're also given the choice to delete all locations. So if you just want to delete one, you should click on yes. If you'd like to delete all of the locations, then you should click on delete all and then confirm your choice. menu button. The menu button has various functions. We have the default button that will default the language of the HUD back to English in case you change the language displayed on the HUD to one that you do not understand. The HRN button will simply open the slhrn.com website where you can check out our latest products. The backup and restore buttons. These are very important. The backup button will res a new object that will save all the current locations you have on the HUD. The restore button is used to then restore these saved locations back to the HUD. So let's give you an example. We can click on the delete button and delete all of the locations. And now go back to the menu button and restore those locations. So you should make a backup of the locations you've saved on the HUD and then take it into your inventory in case the HUD loses its memory or we send you a new update of the HUD and in this way you can easily restore the locations that you had on the older version of the HUD. The update button, when clicked, will check our servers for any new versions of the HUD. The texture button will allow you to change the color of the HUD. You can select white, gray, or black. 
and you can also under the same texture button change the, ch the transparency level of the HUD so by clicking on these values you can make it more or less transparent friends button. Well this allows you to add friends to a friends list and when you activate this feature um, it will send an SL URL of each location that you save on your HUD to the people on your friend list. So it's a great way of sharing locations in Second Life. The language button will allow you to change the language of the HUD and of the blue menus. So if I select Chinese, all the buttons and the blue menu information will show up in Chinese. This feature takes a little while to load, so what we want to do is give the system some time for it to load all of the uh, language functions. And after the language functions have been loaded, you will be able to see all of the blue menus in Chinese. So we can click on the default button now and it will send the HUD back to the English language. reset button will reset all of the scripts in the HUD but it will not delete the saved locations. The help button will open a help note card in one of the eight languages in which the HUD has been translated into. And the close button will simply close the blue menu system. Here you can notice there are a couple more buttons and these will only become active once you have either saved more locations than the ones displayed on this first menu. So we'll save some locations to show you how that works. simply a way of scrolling between locations that you've saved on the HUD. And these buttons here will give you a historic perspective of where you've been in Second Life. So if, for example, I teleport to two or three locations, these buttons will now be active and show me um, a list of previous locations that I can then call upon and then teleport to. The only button left to explain is the hide button. Hide button will hide and the show button will show the HUD so you can better enjoy the views in Second Life. Thank you for watching the HRN Teleport HUD tutorial. We hope you enjoy it. Goodbye.